So um, the mic is over there, and if you could approach, and um, yeah, I've already bribed a few people in advance. So, so the people who are bribed, then please come on over. <laughs> okay, you want to talk with Sean? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Around uh, around a year and a half ago, I conducted. Maybe my name is. For uh, yeah. Hi. For all of you who yeah. don't know me, uh, my name is Jonathan Klinger. I'm uh, an attorney. I'm a member of ISOC, and I sit on the board of Ashnav People for Ethical Use of the Internet, and I'm also a member of DEFCON Israel, the Israeli hackers group. Uh, which is currently most of them are actually in Vegas having a good time, and I'm not. Uh, around uh, a year and a half ago, I conducted with Ynet and uh, 30 volunteers uh, an actual measurement of Israeli internet traffic. We uh, inspected BitTorrent and file sharing traffic using our own files, and we uh, tried to see whether the ISPs are able to interfere with, oh, thanks. <laughs> With uh, our own traffic, uh, we filmed uh, a short movie and then shared it between ourselves because sharing uh, copyrighted files is, of course, illegal. So uh, we wanted to see whether whether they interfere, and we found out back then. I don't know what happened now. That two out of the three major ISPs interfere with traffic. Um, what we want to continue doing is continue this measurement, mostly in mobile communication, and to see whether Skype, which is actually also peer-to-peer, -peer, voice over IP applications, um, also encrypted traffic, which is very important nowadays and is somewhat um, affected when you try to open secure sessions even on mobile connections because they do traffic shaping and we want to see whether we already have a free um, internet here or is there a problem that we need to solve and if there is maybe ISOC would help us in creating an anonymous proxy later on so users can browse the web without uh, being afraid of uh, getting uh, revealed later on. And uh, I'd love the assistance of either any volunteer here or from ISOC to host the server for our inspections, of course. Thanks. Hello, uh, my name is Amit Ashkenazi. I'm the head of the legal department in the Israeli Law Information and Technology Authority, ELITA. We're the Israeli Data Protection Authority, among other things. It's our main job. Uh, thank you for this uh, interesting uh, meeting and uh, inspiring thoughts to the speakers. I'll say a few words uh, of things that would interest uh, us uh, uh, where the government is uh, weaker and uh, the ISO can be of help and we've had a very useful and fruitful, I hope, relationship with ISO for these years and before that, uh, doing other things. Uh, when we look at regulating uh, areas of risks to, to users, to end users, to consumers, to digital citizens, our main uh, mission deals with uh, data protection, privacy. And uh, as uh, Rimon mentioned, uh, the Israeli norm about uh, data protection talks about uh, informed consent of the user. And obviously informed consent is, a, uh, is an uh, irrelevant concept when we talk about the complexity of things going on on the internet, of uh, data streams of the way things are done. And uh, that's a, 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 an important job for regulators to regulate, so that's not what I'm asking you for assistance in. The, the, more, the important thing that we would like to see more on is about uh, educating, which is a big word, but uh, educating uh, the users about their digital citizenship. But the privacy is an important issue, other issues. They should uh, understand better what, what's going on. And uh, this, uh, there's a link between privacy and trust. A lot of people are not joining in because they're not aware enough. And here's the paradox. If they will become aware, if they will become aware that Facebook is not a neutral platform to collectively do their democratic thing, it's not like this room. It has different uh, uh, presumptions when they join Facebook. A lot of things about Facebook is uh, 
uh, they've taken a lot of privacy choices. And I can tell you, being the head of the legal department in Elite, I've not joined Facebook. But being a citizen in Israel, I'm giving this issue very serious thoughts because I'm now out of the, uh, the, the arena where the, the exciting things are going on and I can't participate because I, I don't want to make the privacy choices that Facebook should, would make me uh, joining in. So uh, the, the thing is that I think that, uh, and this is again a job for regulators, but I think that uh, there is a job for the market and for ISOC as a place that brings the market and the non-profit sector to do things which are, I guess are not too popular in Israel, but maybe they will be once serious legislation or court cases come around. And this is do some self-regulation and self-education to promote users uh, to take more informed choices and the government will not be needed to intervene. So I hope, thank you again. So, so what about uh, okay, two and a half uh, ideas? Sorry. Two and a half ideas. One has to do with the uh, um, measurement. I'm reminding the panel because we'll have to respond to that in a few minutes. So one has to do with measurement and the other one has to do with sort of privacy and more so the general involvement of ISOC in such processes, self-regulation. Uh, Tal, please. Hello. Oh. Uh, my name is Tal Galili. I'm um, a second degree biostatistician um, and I like internet. And I don't have as a, as a clear idea of, um, of what I propose to have happened, but I have a question which is which stem from what is we all see now, which is a big uprise in, in the middle class and in, in citizens in Israel. Um, I feel that this is something amazing that all of us that are aware of the internet capabilities have been expecting. We all have been waiting for something so big to happen, and suddenly it happened. And there could be many reasons, and, and a lot of us would conjecture. And, and my guess is that it's very easy now to share information in a social way. That's my guess. Uh, however, what I feel that I see now is that as, as easy it, as it is to share information, to spread the word that there is a big demonstration, the process of making a coherent message from um, a lot of people thinking about this, about these problems, is, is, is still not happening. Meaning, we can all say, let's go to the square, and then we can say we have a problem, but when we actually try to have all these people work together and make a solution together, I don't see that happens as much. And the reason that I feel so um, uh, inspired to ask this question in this audience is because of you, because you've made a, a platform and you, pro and you pushed forward a platform that really enables that to happen, but it doesn't happen. And I think the reason it doesn't happen is because there are so few people actually knowing how to use it and have the culture of using it. So I don't have a, I don't have a solution. Um, but this is a problem that I face now as someone who is a part of this revolution that we all see. And I would really love to hear what you have to say and all of you, dear panelists. Thank you. Thank you, Tal. Uh, Thank you, Tal. Uh, so I would summarize it with the idea of, of Tools for democracy, I would say. Uh, what, what are some of the tools uh, that would allow us to... Um, I an idea. Agree is an idea. Okay. <laughs> Generate stuff. Uh, anybody else here? Go, come on, please. I'll remind you, just <laughs> state your name. Hello. Uh, my name is Amir. I'm heading project Arig. Arig in Hebrew is fabric. We're trying to create an open mesh network in Israel. Um, so first of all, I'll um, state an open call to everybody around here that may uh, help us uh, push this project forward. So anybody who's able to offer hardware or... Maybe you uh, should say yeah. at least two sentences. What is uh, it for um, you? Yeah, okay. So uh, mesh network idea is really, really old. It actually goes back maybe 10 years ago, back to the consume.net network, network that operated in 2000 back in England, and it's actually pre prevalent in many uh, European countries right now, like the um, uh, Guifinet in uh, Catalonia that uh, harbors maybe uh, th uh, tens of thousands of nodes. So what we're trying to do is basically take an existing idea and bring it to Israel because it's been a long time since the idea has been uh, present 
and it's time that we have uh, like a local version. So again, an open call to anybody who thinks he might be able to push this pro uh, help us push this project forward and enable not a, well, it's it's an internet, but it's a different. Uh, structure of an internet. It's much more accessible. All you need to particip participate in such a network is basically a Wi-Fi router that costs maybe 10 bucks. And it's very accessible and it has advantages and disadvantages, but we want to see it basically coexist with the current structure of uh, internet that we have. So, uh, and I do have another question just because I'm as the previous uh, speaker mentioned, I'm really honored to be here in the presence of Jimmy Wales. And I, I'd like to thank you for your incredible contribution. Uh, so the, my question is, in the light of the recent uh, social demonstrations that we've been seeing in the Middle East and in Israel, um, how do you see the media, media Wiki platform, which is also the platform that, we've, that we're using for our project? Um, so how do you see it adapt to answer the needs of demonstrators uh, editing news-like events? And if you can focus on your answer on the, the sheer number of people trying to edit concurrently uh, news items, and the fact that in many cases the, the network, the, the wiki, is actually in, in some terms offline. Like if you, if you would consider a media wiki platform that, would have, that could have run in Egypt, so the network basically is detached from the internet, but still many people would like to use it as a means to um, just create news and share uh, truthful and falseful information. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So I'm writing two things for you. I'm writing two things for the last speaker. One is, is the ARIC project, which connects networks. And the other one is uh, sort of media wiki as a tool, especially for rapid news. I think it relates to what it, some of the things that you were saying. Please. Hi, all. Uh, my name is Elad Hollander. I didn't plan to speak, but I want to respond to Tal's, uh, uh, what you just said. And um, uh, it's regarding the use of platforms and the existence of platforms like yours, Jimmy, but perhaps people do not use it as often as we would like people to use it. And uh, um, just a quick thought. Um, I think first I would very much have liked to see someone from the government sitting over here because they're a major player in this game. They're a major player in this game and for some reason uh, I'm not sure they're really part of the game because I'm not sure that uh, uh, the best way to play the game is bottom up. Meaning I think that should uh, the government be uh, supplying a few more incentives into into the game that people would use platforms like Wikipedia a lot more. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure what to write in the list of ideas, but how many people here in the audience are from the government? No, so we do have some representatives here coming from that area. Please. Hello everyone, my name is Harel Ilam, I'm the senior tech correspondent for Calculis. Uh, just as a quick shout to before, there's already products right now like Diaspora, Kickstarter funded, uh, open source products to build better Facebook, so that's already happening right now. Uh, I think that in order to go back to what we're discussing, the way to promote internet in Israel, the biggest problem is media consumption. There's just way too much piracy right now, and if we look at things like Netflix, they manage to, there's actually more traffic in the United States right now go to streaming than file sharing. And if we think about that, that's amazing. There's more legal media consumption than illegal media consumption. And what we need to do in Israel, and I ask ISOC to help with that, is to promote legislation to force the media companies to supply all media through several formats and several methods. They need someone to shop them and tell them, you need to build Netflix in Israel. You need to do streaming. You need to make all your media available online and for sale. And now, if you check, maybe 10% of all new media is available for sale. That's the biggest problem. That's why we have piracy. 
And that's the biggest way to promote uh, the internet in Israel. That's what happens in India, that's what happens in South America. Media really drove the biggest internet changes in the world in the last 10 years, and I think that's what we need to do here. So, uh, anybody else uh, from the audience? We can definitely come into, uh, I think there's one person there. Go ahead. And then we will, you can choose to whatever initiative to do. My name is Alona Fokush, and I'm uh, from the area of education. I was wondering if there's anyone from the Ministry of Education here? None. No, I'm not from the Ministry, sorry. I'm uh, from the Vinci College of Education and Tel Aviv University. Um, I'm a faculty member, and I am very disturbed. I think that there's no doubt that education is the answer to all these issues, but I'm, I'm not sensing any program, any plan, and this is very disturbing to me. It's disturbing as a mother, as an educator, and I think that we should really raise the issue of education so that the next generation is more involved in creating more um, uh, information via the internet, via social networks, and, um, and just to, to get people more involved. Now, I must say that I am um, very worried because Schools are blocking social network sites. I was shocked to, to see this. I was in China last year, and that's what I experienced also half a year ago in an elementary school. And I think that these issues are the issues that should be uh, raised as major issues for the future of internet usage in Israel. Thank you. My name is Alon Strassan. I'm not from any ministry. Uh, I'm not education for sure. I'm not educated at all. Uh, but I'm from a national entity called National Library of Israel. Uh, this entity, I just want to take an advantage and, and announce on a project that I think that ISOC can help us. Uh, because we are dealing with education and research, we are going to start in the next couple of weeks a preservation project, uh, which is preserving the internet uh, domain of Israel, which means all the internet sites in Israel. We have there is a law, the, the deposit law, that enable us to do so. Uh, we are still struggling and maybe need some help uh, from legal aspects if this is something that we can give an access to the public in Israel, and maybe not only in Israel, of course, uh, but uh, we are going to capture and harvest all the domain of, of the internet uh, uh, to an internet archive of Israel, and we really think that there is a, a need for cooperation from you and maybe from others that think that they can help, uh, so you are most welcome to offer whatever you think is right. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh, thank you very much for the audience. We're going to spend two minutes, a uh, few minutes per uh, speaker to give a short uh, comment. We do have an extensive cocktail after that for mega schmoozing among us, so uh, please. Before I'm starting, I just wanted to comment something interesting because the government uh, representative, Amit, was talking about more self-regulation and all the, the, the private kind of representative were talking about more government regulation, which is an interesting kind of thing to think about. Um, well, I, I can't solve this thing. It's a fiction, internet, or the machine. It's a fiction, it's a fiction, it's a fiction, it's של האינטרנט והשימוש לקונסיומר. הרי יותר מ-50% מתעבורת האינטרנט זה בווידאו, ויותר ויותר אנחנו הולכים לעולם של 
אפליקציות של חצי סגורות. נגמר הזמן. ו... והשימושים האלה הם לגיטימיים. מה שאנחנו מחפשים זה השימושים או הפרויקטים שיגדילו את ה-involvement, את המעורבות של האנשים בשימוש באינטרנט, בשימוש אקטיבי. כשאמרתי, why is the meaning for use? הרעיון הוא שאלה שהם שותפים בצורה אקטיבית ברשת, הם האלה שיביאו את החידושים והם האלה שיהנו יותר מהאושר הנוצר, מהוואלט שנוצר באינטרנט, פחות מאשר ה-consumers, ה-readers ולא ה-writers. גם הם ייהנו מזה, אבל הם ייהנו בצורה אחרת. אני מקווה שנוכל לשמוע על יותר רעיונות. גם במייל, הכתובות ידועות, אם כבר טייזר קוקייל, או רימונה טייזר קוקייל, או ישע, וכך הלאה. So I want to thank everybody for coming here and invite us all to continue the discussion. ובעברית, נמשיך את השיחה כבר עכשיו בחוץ ואחר כך לכל הערוצים. תודה רבה לכולם.